and welcome. This is Ghost Dimension. Coming up on Ghost Dimension. There's something demonic here. You said that, not me. You've got your opportunity now. Me, me and Bex are here. I can't do this. This is too scary. Ah! 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 What was it? Standing outside Perter East Drive, where alleged supernatural activity is taking place, terrorising and the Pritchard family who live here. Neighbours claim to hear unexplained noises, such as bangings and chanting, when the house is empty and the family are out at work. Is this an elaborate hoax by the Pritchard family, or is this a genuine case of hauntings in this unassuming house behind me? More to this story as it unfolds. I'm just Roger, reporting for GD News. Tonight we investigate 30 East Drive in Pontefract, home of the Black Monk. Back in the late 1960s, this unassuming house on an ordinary housing estate became the focus of a mischievous and sometimes violent poltergeist. Shortly after moving into the house, the Pritchards, an ordinary working class family, began to experience inexplicable and frightening activity. From pools of water on the floor to photographs seemingly being slashed by unseen forces, this house has gained the reputation of being one of the most paranormally active locations in the UK. Joe the father was trapped in this very coal cellar with what he describes as a very large black figure coming towards him. The family named the poltergeist Fred, and for the most part his antics were viewed as harmless pranks. But the activity soon came to a climax for the family when Diane, the daughter, was dragged violently up the stairs and into her bedroom. When the attack had finished, finger marks could clearly be seen around her throat, yet no living person was near her at the time of the attack. Thirty East Drive claimed to be one of the most haunted locations, is also home to hit movie When the Lights Went Out, which tells the story of the location's hauntings. I don't like this house, it gives me the creeps. Dad? Yes, love? Did you just move my stuff? Oh, Sally's got it into her head that we're not alone. What do you mean? That we've got a ghost, the daft cow. What was that? Bloody hell do you think you're playing at? What's your interest in all this anyway? A teacher's concern for a pupil. Sally's a very special girl. Well, you've still got the lights on. Get rid of it, Father. From what you've told me, that would require an exorcism. From all evil, deliver us a lark. <coughs> Sudden and unprovided death. <coughs> Hasten to her call to help. <coughs> Of the Christian faith! Command you! A majestic praise command you! The majestic Christ! Command you! The majestic Christ! Command you! The majestic praise command you! You're still here, aren't you? Tonight we put ourselves in harm's way in the hope of finding out who or what still haunts this house. Oh wow, we're pulling up wow. to the house yep. right now. We're pulling it up to it now. It's amazing. Really spooky. Can't wait to start this investigation. So we've arrived at 30 East Drive. Believed to be one of the most paranormally active locations in yep. the UK. Haunted by a black monk and a poltergeist. It is, and I've been looking forward to coming here, but right now I feel a bit like he doesn't want us here. Yeah, 
as soon as you walk up, you can feel sort of an oppressive feeling on you, can't you? Yeah, like this house is welcoming us into it. And I'm looking forward to seeing if that feeling of that dark feeling of pushing us away happens when we get inside. It's almost as if the house is watching us, isn't it? Yeah, waiting in anticipation. All eyes on us tonight. Should we go in? Let's do it. Let's go and investigate 30 East Drive. Whoa. As soon as you come in here, you can, like we said outside, it gets worse, it yeah. gets heavier. Heavier feeling. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, this is, I believe, the coal shed. This is the coal cellar. The cellar. So if we go in, then if we catch anything, you come in as well. Yeah. If we catch anything, or if you catch anything behind us, that would be amazing. But the feeling you get in here is dark. Yeah. It's dingy. It's cold. Very, very, very cold. I suppose it's keeping the cold. But the whole house is, in fact, warm, isn't it? Yeah, very warm. And I can, I can see why people feel uneasy in here, but I can feel a pressure on my head. You know what it feels like when you just stand here? It feels like you're being dragged in. Push, pulled in? Yeah. Yeah. It does feel like that, because you have to really hold yourself. Hold yourself. Feel, you feel like you're off balance? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Shall we go through Let's the, go the through. rest of the house and yeah. see what else we feel before we start this investigation? So this is where we've set up all of our equipment. This yeah. is our area. This is going to be our base room. Yeah. Which is... The and this is the kitchen. And instantly you get a feel like somebody's watching you from all angles. Yeah. And don't you? Isn't it weird Al? You come in here and it's definitely silent. It wasn't. What did you hear? A bang from that room over there. And that's the living area, the living Should room. Should we go over? Yeah, let's go, let's go over room. and check it because... We're hearing these noises, we need to investigate them before exactly. we start our investigation. Now it's 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 day, daytime, and we've arrived here in the daytime and there's paranormal activity already happening, so you know it just shows you, you can investigate a place in the day and in the night listen. as we're gonna do. Come in guys, come in, listen, listen. I swear to god I heard footsteps above. Really? Yeah. Apparently, the black monk was um, either hung, I think, and then put into a well, and the well was here on the floor. And when you stand here, it does actually feel a little bit off balance. Yeah, and you can, you, you can tell that this isn't a normal home. No. You can tell that something nasty yeah, has been definitely. here, or maybe still here. Mm, it's like the walls have captured it, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's got a really eerie feeling of death. Yeah. Now we know Joe, the father, died upstairs. We know that, yeah. D did you catch that on the audio? Yeah, something. Yeah, tap, tap. that was a bang, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so if we take you out of here and we go in the hall, you might be able to hear it a bit louder. Yeah, let's I go, think. let's go through, let's go through and yeah. see what else. Okay. Before we, uh, Are you here? I believe there's a man called Fred that well, haunts the place. the poltergeist. The family named the poltergeist Fred to try and ordinary up this demonic thing that was haunting them and playing harmful tricks sometimes on them. So if we show up for Fred. Yeah. Fred, are you here? Did you hear that big bang? Did you hear that? That was upstairs. Yeah. It's like we're getting closer. It's like he's lowering us upstairs. Yes. Do you want us to come upstairs? Oh my God! Never, never, never. That was, do you know, if you look, pan that camera up there, you'd be able to see this clock, and I think that might have been that clock. <laughs> Are you waiting for us at the top of the stairs? Was it you who made that noise before? Yes. Oh, Did you tell me you I heard, heard that? that? That was a definite response. 
Listen. Fred! I don't know if you're picking it up on cameras, but I can hear what sounds like a pulsating noise. Growl. You've got a growl. It's like a, like a growl. Mm -hmm. Fred? Fred! Did you hear that? That was a growl. That was. That was a growl. Ooh, feels different in here. Doesn't yeah. it? What does it feel make your head feel all weird? Yeah. But it feels like somebody's doing this to your arms. So we feel. Pulling you down. You? Yeah. yeah like, like a weight of something. Yeah. I don't know what you mean. That was weird as soon as it was just there when I walked. I wonder if that was the feeling of maybe Joe coming to bed. Replaying. Replaying. Wow. That's weird. Okay. Furniture in this room also is believed to have been moved uh, and, yes. and pushed around. Yeah. Uh, this, this place, I feel, is going to have a lot of activity. Definitely we, a lot to offer, isn't it? When we go dark later, mm. I think that this is going to be an immense night of activity with this poltergeist still activity. Well, I think you should actually do a loan <clears throat> in here. Only yeah. because Joe died, who's the hat man of the house. Yeah. He might communicate better with you being the ma ma man. Mm. And we'll put a lock-off in the room as well. Definitely. We'll put Definitely a lock-off lock off at the camera. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think we should. Because Joe died in the bathroom, isn't The it? bathroom, but we don't really want to show the bathroom unless we really have to. But obviously this is where he slept, so it might be a good idea. To do a loan. Okay. This is where he was at his most vulnerable while he was sleeping, so... At this moment in time, I feel we're being watched. Yeah, it does. You do get that all over the house. You do get that feeling of somebody watching you or different entities watching you, maybe. I think, yeah, I think... It's not I, just I, one, is it? I think we're waiting for him to get us off guard. Yeah. And then yeah. once he's got us off guard, he's going to go. Yeah. Because, like I said before, it's daytime and already things are starting to happen. It's not like this this spirit, this energy, is a, a soft-natured no. spirit, is it? It's, no. it's I, I'm here, and hello, and I'm going to do something for you. I feel there's not just one spirit here. No, definitely. I feel there's multiple, mm. multiple spirits here. Yeah. And possibly spirits that don't belong here. Mm. I yeah. think somebody may have brought something here. What, that attract, uh, held some sort of uh, energy yeah, to Yeah, I think somebody may have opened a portal to a different dimension. Yeah. And brought a Quite spirit possibly. in. possibly, yeah. Carol, welcome to Ghost Dimension. Um, you live next door to 30 East Drive. Yes. How long have you lived there for? 29 years. 29 years. Yep. And would you say that this is one of the most haunted houses in the UK or? From my own experience, yes. What have you experienced? Various things in my house and this house. So the activity sometimes goes into your house as well? It's on both. It's the ground mm. that's, that's really? active, not the bricks and mortar. No. It's the ground. Yep. Yeah. Oh. 29 years of pure L. 29 years. 29 years. And do you ever go inside of this house? Yep, every day. Every day? Yep. And what do you feel when you go inside? Sometimes, I don't win on my own. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have a couple of team members go with me. Sometimes we walk in and it just feels like any other house. Yeah. And sometimes we go in and it's like you can cut atmosphere. Mm. Um, sometimes we go in, the, the smell is awful. We have to open our windows. Really, what's the um, smell of? Well, I, I, you won't want me to say on camera. Really? Um, but it is that bad. Who's the man called Fred that's haunted? It was given the nickname Fred. He is a monk. He's about yeah. seven foot tall, but his real name's Michael. Oh, right. Um, okay. He's such a lovely bloke. He, he, he's walked down my path. He's walked over to people over the road. Old people over the road and were scared. And I had to talk to him a few months ago because he's, he never hurt nobody. No. It's not that that you're fearing these houses. No. There's something other than that. There's something really. demonic here. You said that, not me. Okay. Carol had explained her feelings towards this house, which matched our own. It was now time to start our investigation. Okay, so we're gonna, this is a Tesla. And what this will do 
is charge the atmosphere and the energy in this building. Um, let's set, we're setting this off now, so when we do our investigation, um, the atmosphere here is charged and ready to go. So we'll, I'll let that keep going for about 10 minutes and then we'll get on with our investigation. So, myself and Bex are in for the bedroom. <coughs> yes, we are. And we, we've got to explain. Can you make it warm in here? <gasps> oh, okay, okay. Well, that's interesting. Right. Sean's going to in introduce um, the bear on the bed and why it's just said that. This uh, bear that yeah. Bex is looking at on the camera here in this room senses temperature, it's got an EMF meter in it, it'll speak, if it gets warm it'll go, uh, it's got a temperature sensor in it, it'll say mm. it's getting warm, it just said, is it getting warm in it, if it gets cold it'll go brrrr. It'll also speak randomly um, to ask and encourage children to interact with it and it will interact back with us. Um, in this room also we've got this television over here. And the bear's now saying, for example, can you make a noise? And it's asking for the kids to make a noise. So if there's kids in this room, or any other type of spirit, it may also interact with the bear, as yeah. well as us. This television is a white noise television. We'll turn it off in a second and get a bit of white noise going. Mm -hmm. um, and in the other room, we've got a REM pod, yeah. as well as the te Tesla, which is just charged the atmosphere yeah. in this atmosphere. And on the floor, we've got a load of balls which Bex will show you now. And the balls are there to be moved, played with and touched. And so we're going to try and get the spirits to touch my tummy. We've also got a rocking horse, a mini rocking horse. So if anything does come in here, hopefully we'll get some interaction. So we'll turn the telly on now with the noise. Yeah. I'm going to try and not knock these um, so I'm going to stand behind them because I don't want to knock them because there's, we have got a locked off camera on the balls as well and that sits on top of the TV and that is pointing right at them. So if we catch anything tonight we are going to yeah, we'll, we're we, gonna we'll get cover. on some sort of camera. So the bear keeps talking. The bear keeps talking now it's just asking if a spirit has a favourite song. Tell you what, the, the heating's on isn't it? Yeah. But since we walked in this room... It's cold. Yes. I'm glad you said that before me. <coughs> it's got really so cold. Behind me, it's, it's freezing. Yeah. And it's cold. Yeah. Very cold. I can feel it, actually. Can you feel it? It is colder here. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm going to go move. I'm going to move, like, here, I think. Okay. And just point the camera there, just in case I pick up anything. So, if there's any spirits here... There's a cedar doll saying it's getting warm. It's not. It's cold. Crazy. It's cold. It's cold. It's weird. It's weird. Fred, are you in here? Can you open the door for us? Or use your voice and make a noise. Now the lady next door, she said, Fred. Fred's real name was Michael, and he had a Simon as well. This brother, uh, Simon called his brother. Simon, and Michael was nice apparently, you know what time it is? and Simon was not very nice. So if we call out for Simon, you know who, who what, and are. why we're calling out for Simon and Michael. Michael, are you there? Can you communicate with us? Okay. There was a moan yeah. over there. Yeah. The TV not. Yeah. Let's turn the telly off now. We should have built up enough charge. Only because we might not be able to pick the noises, the noises. up on the camera if we've got that on. All right. Is there anybody here now who's joined us in our atmosphere? Can you communicate? Can you communicate with us? Whistle, whistle, whistle. Loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Small whistle. Hello. Let's sit on the bed. There's also a child in here. Um, not in here, but in the house called Emma. Was it Emma? Yeah. Or Amy? Emma. Emma. Listen. 
Okay. Fred, is that you? Did you hear the voice? Yeah. And again, but I was... Did you say something? Did you say again? No, it's a doll. You heard that, didn't you? There was a voice, a really low voice, and the doll, the teddy, said, can you say something? Again? Again. Thanks, let's do it again, let's ask again. I'm going to turn to keep this with me. Can you say something to us? Can you use your voice and speak to us? Or whistle? If it was you that whistle, whistle again. Oh, I'm saying I like holding hands with you. Okay, well that's a bit weird. Now the doll's also got sensors in it, and it's just said something's it's holding its hand. It's something's it's coming near the doll. <coughs> I can hear that. Leave me on the bed. I'm not staying on the bed. I'm not staying on the bed. Come if that was you, do it again. Make that noise. <laughs> no way. Are you on the doll, yeah? Yeah. On the teddy? No. Something's touching the doll. I heard that. Listen, listen. Did you hear that? There was that thud and then the noise. Like a growl, wasn't it? Yeah. This place. The atmosphere has totally changed in the dark. Yeah, now that it's got dark. Yeah. It's freaking me out. Brad? Sorry, because I'm not believing this. This is weird. Don't open the door. Don't open the door. Don't open the door. Right, let me open it. I've got to open the door. Don't open the door. Somebody's walking on the land. I heard that behind you. Stop doing that. I heard it. Did you not hear it? Let's see? Stop it. Hello? Wait. Hold my hand. Are you here? <gasps> ah! Ah! What was it? Clearly we were not alone and before we continued our investigation we got the help of the crew to come inside and point the camera in the loft as noises appeared to be coming from in there. We found nothing causing the noises we could hear. We just heard footsteps in the loft, didn't we? Yeah, so we like just... bang as we came out, didn't we? Yeah, so we just got the monopod before we moved into this next room. Yeah. And just checked that nobody was there. No one. No one. No one. You can see it. There's the loft. Apparently it's too small. The crew said it was too, too small. Too small. So should we go into this next room? So if we're going to go to Jean and Joe's bedroom. Yeah. We have a locked off camera there, don't we? In there already, yeah. yeah. And that's rolling, so... Let's go in. We should look. Got the uh, ram on the floor here. Oh, God. Did I just kick? Um, oh, no. Power. I can't see. Right. I understand here. Okay, so there's the locked up camera. And we've got that doll behind us. And there's the doll. Okay, so if there's any spirits in here that want to communicate with us, can you make yourself known? Yeah. Speak to us, make a noise, set the REM pod off on the floor. What can you hear? Creaking. Yeah. Um, we might get Joe in here, mightn't we? Because obviously this was his bedroom. 
So we might find Joe Wolf. Shall we? Do you know we get the most activity when we sit down on the bed? It's horrible, isn't it? Should we do it? It's because, you know what it feels like? It's because like, we feel more vulnerable. Yeah. Because we're so more nearly missed the bed. That's the Tesla Nervex, isn't it? Which we've it had is, going. yeah. That charges the energy in the room. So we've had it on for about ten minutes prior to coming in here uh, and doing our duels upstairs. Okay, so spirits, you've got... Do you I did. We're not even having to say anything here and we're hitting taps. If you're in here, communicate, make any noise you want. Close the door. Touch one of us. Or, you know, you've got to do something big. 30 East Drive. You have to. Turn the lights on or make the um, light shade move. That would be a good one. Yeah. Did you hear that voice say? Yeah, I heard that. But you know when somebody's got the radio on and you turn the radio right down and it's just a man's voice. It was that loud. Yeah, it was. It was just... Hello. Uh -huh. OK, OK. Yeah, we should get out of here. Now let's continue. It's not... We've got to do it. I'm just going to move around here. All right, you're, you've got your opportunity now. Me, me and Bex are here. We're wanting to communicate with you. So speak to us. We heard your voice. Say something more to us. I heard that in the other room. A tap. Go and touch the teddy in the other room if you can. Knock the teddy over. Push it off the bed. Yeah. Or move the balls. Should we see? Oh. Oh! Oh, oh, oh shit! Whoa, 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 whoa. God, did you not hear that? I did. Stay still. No, put the Look, light on. I'm moving. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? The growl. Yeah. Should we just retest that? Just make sure it wasn't just the bed. You do it. <sighs> it gets you so on edge. No. That was a growl. That was like a moan, like you sat on somebody. That was. That was weird, man. That was oh, weird. God. Let's go lights out again. Oh, do we have to? Let's let's go. Yeah, let's do it. That's, that's because we've got the lights off. <coughs> that was a clean growl on that bed. Or well, like a moan that you sat on something. Yeah. Oh. I heard that. Oh. It went, Ooh. That was me. That was like me. a ghostly. Ooh. I don't like this. Can you do another thing for us? That's the teddy. Good story. Should we check the teddy? No, no, no. No, no. you don't want to check? Just stay in here for a minute. Okay. All right, shut the door. Bex is pointing at the door. If you can make all these noises or footsteps above us, shut the door. I you heard the noise? Did you hear what that said? What? I'm here. Yeah. Oh my God. This is I'm here. Are you here? It just sounds muted. It does, it does. Okay. Do something more for us. Somebody's touching my hair. Do something more for us. Bex, 
Thanks. Yeah. Hold that camera. No. No, I'm switching now. Hang on. Hold on a sec. Right. There's somebody up there. We've tested this. I'm going to point. I'm going to let's let's get this to communicate with us. I'm going to knock on the roof. Ready? Not back if you're there, come on. That's weird. Why does it have to always be the lights out for the activity? I don't know, make you more, more scared, more vulnerable, heightened senses. Do that again for us. Walk above us. We'll switch this off. Oh God. I hate going lights out in here. In this whole bloody building, I hate it. Not the building, but the lights out thing. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Is switch the lights off for orb. us. An orb just come. Past the camera? Yeah. By the door where yeah. the door opened? Yeah. Just put that light on, please. Yeah. Can we come for somebody? Oh, hang on. Can we somebody? Yeah, wait, just wait, because we're all outside. No, don't panic. Just stay there. Don't, don't, don't stay. stay. I'm not leaving you. Don't move. Oh, I can't do don't this. Don't move, just don't move. What the fuck was that? I can't do it. Stay there. You, you can't do it? No. I can't do this. This is too scary. Just stay there. Get away Did from the stairs. Did you hear that? Just get away from the stairs. Did you hear that? What did you hear? I heard. It was on that. I it was heard on that it. Door. No. No. That's what we do everywhere. Yeah, let's see if we can get it to do it again. We do that for the for the spirit to try and finish the knock. Ready? We'll see. We could hear clear voices and knocks and we felt it was time to grab Paul and try out an experiment with the portal. Paul, what, what are we doing in this room? We've got the experiment called the, the portal. Yeah, we've got the uh, SB7 hooked up to uh, the portal, um, which is an amplifier with two guitar pedal effects on. Uh, one's a delay and one's a, a reverb. So what we're going to try and do is, if anything comes through, we get a better chance of hearing what it says because it's going to cut out a lot of the noise and we'll get some of the, the echo behind it. So it'll bring drag that word out a little bit longer so we can actually try and hear and make sense of what it is that it's said. Let's get on. Let's Brilliant. Do it. I like okay. it. Yeah. And this is the said portal. Okay, so that's on now, yeah? Yes. Just need to turn it up. Let's turn it up. Let's get it going. So that's quite loud now, but right. because of uh, the noise reduction that's on it, yeah. it's cutting out a lot of the, the hiss that you'd normally get through with the SB7. I'll just demonstrate, I'll show you if we turn this. That's hi. normally what you get. Hi. Is that hi? Yeah. So we cut out some of that background hiss. So we can ask questions now, see if we can communicate with these spirits. Yes. Maybe it's Fred, maybe it's not Fred. We'll find out. Said Fred. Fred. That's Fred yeah. again. Uh, are we communicating to Fred? Oh, Jesus. Of course. Of course. Oh yeah. <laughs> and there was a no, no a noise and a half then. Yeah. Fred. Yeah. That oh. What's going on? The door. That door. It's a knock, knock. Fred, can you, can you speak to us on the portal? Yes. Did you hear that, Paul? Yeah? Yeah. I missed the first one, I'll be honest, but the second one, I heard it was like confirming. Yeah. We've also got a camera, locked off camera, in the room, so 
That's pointing over there, so if we catch anything that we don't catch. Fred, we, are you haunting this building? Are you, do you go upstairs and scare people? What does it say? Upstairs. Upstairs. No. upstairs. Uh, can it go any louder, though? What I can do is try and like a little bit more of the background yeah. here, so... Fred, is your name really Michael? What's that? It's above us. That's it, yeah. Both of us? Yeah. So Michael and Simon. Simon. Simon that's Simon's Michael's brother. brother isn't it? Yeah. Fred? Simon? Are you stuck here? Are you the people making the noises? The voices? Michael, there's conflicting. Heard that. Did you hear that? Yeah, again. What yeah. did he say? Yes. Yes, yeah. said yes. Yeah, said yes. Was that you that knocked them for us? Yeah. Bex? I, yeah. I thought it was. Well, we said Bex. yes or Bex. Which one was I it? Give us Bex. Bex. Was you trying to scare Bex? Because he knew he did it upstairs. In there. Why would it have done that? That sounds a bit dark, doesn't it? That was a bit demonic. Yes. I heard that. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. The door. The oh. door. Did we get that? Yeah, I think so. Shit, yes, we've got to go through it. Oh, yeah, I'll go on. Do you want to take that and take I'll a look? Yeah. yeah. Let I me think calm my nerves a second because that freaked me out. That was that there <laughs> just opened on its own. We could hear a door going and it opened. Jesus, that freaked the hell out of me then. Was nobody there or was anybody there? I'm even nervous about stepping out here. Jesus. Oh, that's me, having a door. Okay. I, do you know, before the door went, before the door went, I heard, like, a noise from upstairs. I did. And then the door went. I was pointing up, up at the ceiling, and then, I, I, for some reason, I panned over to the door. It's it really quite dark, that, wasn't it? I'm know. here. I'm sure that said I'm here. Cheers, oh, Paul. That, that was freaky, that. Hairs are standing up on my arms at the moment. I'm just... Uh... Hi. 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 That's a lady. Yeah. Are we communicating with a lady spirit? <coughs> Female? Oh. Can you say your name? Jesus. Right. Uh, the floor the well? vibrated. Did the anybody well? feel that floor yeah. then? It shook. Have you just come in here and stomped your foot or something because this floor shook? Can you do it again? Oh my god. What? Massive what? orb from the portal down From to the, the floor portal. down to the floor yeah which makes sense with what Paul's saying yeah they must have stamped their feet and they were going to the floor again. yeah outside so like you said that it was started the out but I thought you said out bet I don't know do you want us to be on our own no I'm not going on my own no I don't think you should but yes yes Oh, wow. Do you know what? That was like children. Yeah. Is Not this Emma? Are you putting at the portal? I'm putting at the sofa and the portal. Oh. 
you know, I've not been on nerve for a while, but that, that was, um, yeah, that's freaked me out a fair bit. That bloody door open. Fuck me, did you hear that? Mm. Where was that from? I can hear chanting. I can hear chanting. I can hear chanting. I can. Do you know what that sounded like? What? Bleeding curtains. Yes. Are you here with us right now? 30 East Drive was living up to its reputation and the door opening on its own was proof we were not alone. Now Sean and Paul head off on their own to investigate further. So we've now got the whole of the building to ourselves. Nobody's in here. We've got the Alice box. Which has just said intention. Intention. Climb. And that's weird. It's only one thing to climb here, and that's the stairs. stairs. But luckily we've got a camera mm. on the stairs, so if anything does come down, we will capture it. And we've got some rems knocking about as well, haven't we? Yeah. Okay, is anybody here with me and Paul? I heard something. There was a click in there. Out, out in this, in a uh, stairs? Sounded like it. Nobody here. Is anybody here? This has been the base of the hub of the, the night in here where we've had all the equipment. Oh, okay. Where, where, where did that come from? Over in that corner, isn't it? Down the bottom? Mm -hmm. That shuffling sound. Right behind us. Can you talk to us? You can use this that I'm holding in my hand to communicate through. What the hell is that? That's what, what was that? I think there's something behind us. What is that there? You can hear it moving. Mm -hmm. Grasp. Grasp. Maybe that's right, Paul. It grasps yeah. hold of something. Yeah. And that's what, if you can see it, look, grasp. It must have grasped, it grabbed something, and that's what we get here. Maybe it grabbed the bag. Mm. Okay. It's really good what you're doing. We do appreciate it. What else can you do for us? Move the coal shed door. Open it or close it. Kick it open. Space. space. Are we in your space? Or is it saying if we go in a golf shed, there'll be no space? Yeah, this is true. Should we try it? Yeah. Button. Okay. It's a little bit random unless you can tell us more. What does button mean? Step it in here. That's in here. It does. Alright, I'll just close this door. Now if that opens, Paul, that can only be paranormal, one. yeah. Okay. If the spirit that was in here that locked one of the brick childs in here, um, is it here? Open the door. Show us you can do something. I can see the door. It's not opening. Do you recognise the name Joe Pritchard? Is the, the person in here that locked Joe in here and scared him? You're the other one from outside? Yeah. yeah. Can you come and knock on this door? 
Can you push against it so that we can't open it? Can you trap us like you trapped Joe? I'll push it open and then you close it. Go on, close it. If we're in your space, do something to get us out. Oh, do you hear that then? Yeah. Funeral. <laughs> That's not what you want to hear, is it really? It's gone already. There was a noise of a whine. Demon. Oh. No way. Did that you capture got that? It. Yeah. Got it. Funeral and demon. <laughs> Laugh. Laugh. Now this is not good. <laughs> no. We hear, we we heard the the whine. It's a funeral, demon, and laugh. And we heard laughter on the portal. And we did. We heard ha ha ha. Sean and Paul had received messages from the Alice box, which led them to believe they were dealing with a demon. So they split up on their own to see if the demon would interact while they were on their lone vigils. Okay, so I'm just sat in the living room of 30 East Drive. Still got the Alice box going. And just going to see... Is anything going to come and talk to me? Threat. Okay, that says threat. Hi, so I'm going to investigate the infamous coal shed or the coal store. As you can see, it's just got coal in it and all of the uh, stuff that you need for a coal shed. So let's see if I can get this spirit of Jesus Christ. This doesn't feel good. Really, really doesn't feel good. In fact, I'm going to stand away from this door to see because if that opens up, that will be let well, it may be shut as well. Do you know what? I feel like I'm just talking absolute gibberish because I don't feel safe at this moment in time. I feel like something's about to happen. I feel disjointed. I'm going to go this way because I think that door's going to open. Okay, if somebody is here with me, come and let me know you're here. Open the door or close it. Do something to me. Come on. Let's see if I can put that there. Come on, if you're here with me, let me know you're here. Open the door. Push it. Go on. Who's a threat? Am I a threat to you? Are you a threat to me? Show me what's threatening. If you're going to threaten me, do something. Push the door, come on. Push the door. Please open it. Do something for me. Do something bigger than just. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As long as you do it even more, just push it even more. It only went a little bit. I was expecting it to fly open. But it, it moved slightly, but it took a lot of me encouraging this spirit to do it. Now, if it's opening doors a little bit, which is more encouraging, uh, I believe we may, and I just heard a weird noise then. Walking. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> Right, I've just had walking and soft and there's just been a noise through there and I am really hesitant to go and have a look because earlier that door flew open and 
only takes a fair bit to make me twitch but that did because it was so sudden and now I'm wondering whether to go and have a look. <laughs> 